So hi guys and welcome back to the Let's Play of American Truck Simulator. So if you remember in the last episode we were just taking some uh, cars. Oops. We just escape. If we were just taking some cars from Las Vegas to Bakersfield, and um, we got four hours and thirty-two minutes to get it done. We're getting paid eight grand, which is going to help us. As if you remember, we owe quite a bit of money back to the bank. So if you have a look at our route, um, we just passed Barstow, Barstow. Uh, we just pulled in at a rest area. Not actually an arrest, I've just pulled in for uh, the end of last episode because it was getting a bit long. Uh, so we're going to head over to Bakersfield, uh, pick up this new road that we haven't been down, jump back on the uh, interstate and uh, drop off at the uh, rail export. And I think that spot is the really difficult parking. So as we only got 4 hours and 32 minutes, and this is going to take 4 hours and 54, I think we better get on the road. So if we jump in, reset track IR. Sounds good, our cat engine. Look at that, <laughs> Tesla right in your face, that's kind of funny. Okay, so... Got the speed display on. Just go over, got over half a tank of fuel. So yeah, we just came out of there. Nice rest in there because we can't rest in our cabin yet. I think that was mine with the, uh, the one on the left near the uh, open 24 hours uh, shop. Got a good deal on my uh, chips or crisps, as Americans say. We said chuck IR again. Right, somehow got on the interstate. And the winner of the kindest trucker in the world goes to that guy. If you're not pulling over. Man, it's dark. I don't want to turn my four lights on because people will flash. Right into the desert. I believe this is the road with... Um, tumbleweed Let's turn our four beams on we're gonna need it down here it's mega dark the cacti so on Monday of this week um, Apple had its sort of event on it's a special event called let us loop you in um, lots of people got tripped by that thinking there was going to be a new Apple Watch and stuff like that, but no, nothing too big. It was actually called Let Us Loop You In because it was the last ever sort of special event at Apple's current headquarters on One Infinite Loop. They're moving to a new place which looks really cool. Um, you've probably seen some futuristic like space images on the internet, but it looks really cool that new place that they're moving to. So I'm excited for that, but for the main thing at the event, they released the. Um, they talked about the environment and what they do to help that. They. Um, what else did it? A care kit. So, as with the successful um, it's health kit, they realised that, well, thi well, this can actually help people with their health, um, with their medication and care. So they've improved, well, they've created care kit. Um, so, for instance, if you're recovering from a surgery or, or something, um, you can monitor on your phone how you're doing and set yourself goals, or you can, your, your doctor or something can set yourself goals to improve and stuff like that. I, mean, I think it's so cool that technology is actually helping people to recover from stuff now. Oh, I love this road. You just gotta floor it down there because it's so fun. Well, hey, roller coaster road. Oh. <laughs> We're getting a bit quick then. Let's turn our full beam off. What time is it? 4.20, so we should get a sunrise soon. So, yeah, that was the uh, biggish thing they released. And then we moved on to iPhone. The iPhone SE was released. The uh, long anticipated replacement for the iPhone 5C Apple's um, sort of standard phone 
Um, so it, it basically takes a shell from an iPhone 5S with some minor tweaks outside, a new colour, rose gold. Um, it's got the A9 chip from... Slow down. And the A9 chip from the current iPhones, a 6S and 6S Plus. Um, improved camera, so it's on par with the latest phones. It's just bringing it up to date, basically. I think it starts at about 400, I'm not too sure. Um, it's re relatively cheap for an Apple phone, I'd say. And it is, um, so as I said, it's based on the iPhone 5S, so it's got a 4-inch screen, which is what everyone, or well, quite a lot of people, wanted. Because they miss uh, smaller phones for some reason. To me, I like the uh, larger phones. I've got an iPhone 6S, me. So, I like that. 6S Plus, sorry. I've got in slate or space grey that's it look at that nevada plate 45,000 w it's kind of cool jeep still got my uh, grey interior guys still liking that especially i love the grey wheel it feels like something that um you'd actually have on your truck which i do like that what is that video games robo shop looks like an electronic store come on sounds good when you rev this is that a maserati i think it was you know uh, so after that, um, they talked about the new Apple Watch bands. Um, no Apple Watch 2, I'm afraid. Just some new bands. Not a massive fan on them. There's sort of a nylon one, but still think I'm going to keep with my stock silicone one for a while. Still doing well. It's starting to like show a bit some of the uh, shininess. It's like starting to turn shiny in some bits, but. It's doing alright, it's comfortable for a day, daily use. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the colours actually for the, um, the new nylon bands and they've released a new colours for the silicone bands. Oops. Right. An hour and 52, two hours, right. Looks like some speeding ahead. And then we gotta park it somehow down there. Oh, we got the you know music. Okay, into sport mode. <laughs> sport mode activated. Okay. Prepare for light speed. Right, before that annoys me. Audio. No music, please. Um, I have got a new environment mod. I'm not too sure if I've activated it on this profile, but I have got a new environment mod. It is in my um, mod spreadsheet down below if you want to check it out. I believe it's kind of cool. I was just playing around with it on my other profile a couple of days ago, and I've got to watch for speed. Alright, set it to 58. Let's go from there, see how we do. Hopefully we can make it in time. I do want that all of that eight grand because we do really need to start making a bit more than that. Let's get our money back after that loan else is gonna start killing us. M3 That's sunrise. Really cool. Is that an orchard? I believe it is, you know. And here we are. So how long we got? 55 minutes. Yeah, we brought that back. So it's just a, uh, a bit of parking now. Oh, I don't like parking here. It's my least favourite thing.
Okay, we've got to do a full start, so let's put it in first. Please don't roll back. Okay, and away we go. They really want these cars exported quickly, all these Teslas across America. Sudden need for Teslas. This must be a just in time delivery or something. But I'm not too sure if, if I've unlocked that um, skill yet. We uh, soon should be able to go to the next level, which should be nice. Not ready for 10th. How we doing? Three minutes. Oh, we're late. We are. We are really late. Sorry, but I had to cut the episodes. Also, I, I, else it would have been at least a fifty-minute episode, which for the let's play, I don't really think works. Anything over half an hour is a bit too long. And, yep, as I thought, the impossible park. So, I think I've learnt my lesson not to do it my usual way. I'm going to go over here. Try it this way. It's maybe better. I'm never any good at these ones. So bear with me. Train coming in, that's my new train sounds. Alright, let's pull it back out here. Give us a bit more room. If we've got some room, we may as well use it. Let's put it in first reverse gear. I think I may have turned a bit late there. Right, I'm struggling at the easy bit, that's not a good sign. High reverse gear. Okay, so, so down. I want to be pretty close to that inside. Oh, I, haven't, I can't see in that mirror. Stop turning. It's not very good in reverse gear, this engine I've noticed. It doesn't hold the revs very well. I have to keep it going else it just gives up. This is a bit of a waste of time. Oh, I've made this really difficult. That's sort of helpful. I think I'm getting a bit close to that wall. Okay, start turning. Uh, it's 
straighten that a bit. Cat train coming in. Shortest, shortest American train in the world. Okay, they know I'm late and they want it in the most difficult spot. Really have not made, made this easy for myself. Gonna be at least 20 minutes late. Myself all the room. Um, thank you. Wow, late. A thousand. I mean, that would have knocked me over the edge. Yeah, it would have easily. That would have put me into level six. Ugh, annoying. Right then, let's carry on with the episode. Okay then, so now we have done that, I think. We better just check the map because I said I wanted to do some uh, basic uh, basic upgrades to the uh, truck. So it's probably paying off to look at the uh, freight market to see what's coming out of the different places and then go to that place. So we get the most money. So there are not many jobs for Bakersfield to be honest. Um, not paying too much. The top one's paying 21 per mile. Got that one there from Fresno. Or we've got Huron, Huron, Havon. Or you got Oxnard. That's paying a, uh, a bit more. Interesting. Interesting. We could drive here as well. quite a lot from Carson most of them are paying quite a bit so I think if the I mean Fresno sorry just double check there's a repair garage yes there is so if we just head up to Fresno I think that's gonna pay off 71 miles away so how many miles have we got on this thing now 1580 6.1 miles to the gap now. That's all heating up. Enough left for 283 miles. Gonna need a fill up soon. We're a bar off the bread. Into fourth. Let's leave these guys. Knocking us off a thousand. We were about two minutes late when we turned up. But because of that park, we were a whole pretty much 30 minutes. Not fair, is it? Unfair. It's the burnout because they, uh. Oops. That burnout though. Knocking us off a thousand. Who do they think they are? Oh, is that a secret place then? That? Come on. <laughs> That'd be so cool to uh, do a run up on that on that ramp. Like you can in uh, driver. Was it driver San Francisco? One of my favourite games. I haven't played it in ages so back on the PlayStation 3. Really fun. I wonder if you can get on the back of that actually. 
That'd be kind of cool. I doubt the uh, AI would move though when you're on its back. That'd be kind of funny. Is that my guy, Yorley? Let's double check. Probably. So we need to rest anyway, so when we get there, I think. So a quick upgrade, and then. Leave it there for the episode. So we haven't done much this episode. Dropped off those cars. But, yeah. You gotta see everything I'm doing though in this Let's Play series. That's the aim anyway. So, yeah. That wasn't all they released at the Apple event. They also um, released the iPad Air 3 or the iPad Pro, as they call it. Um, it's basically the iPad Air 3 with some iPad Pro features like the quad um, speakers and also with iOS 9.3, one of the most... Um, Oh, leveled up, that's good. And hopefully we can unlock something new. Um, one of the features that I'm looking forward to most is the a new feature called Nights View or something. Nights, I don't know. But basically, when the sun... Let's go back to the start. So research has proved that blue lights emitted from like phones and stuff like that um, can actually damage your sleep um, quite a lot so Apple have thought about this and as the sun sets your device knows this when the sun sets it with all the internet stuff it um, it turns it onto this darker sort of setting um, with some more so instead it goes from the cooler end of the uh, spectrum it goes to the warmer sort of side of the spectrum which is kind of cool it should help you with your sleep so that'd be kind of interesting to see if it does work right can we floor it past the sky no that's not gonna work yeah especially if he's in straight on like cutting straight across and that'd be mega annoying what's that enterprise Direct tire? We did not. How did we not discover that? Did we discover it? Let's have a look. If we go escape, this is weird. If we are where are we? Fresno. Yeah, discovered. I was going to say then. Like, why didn't it discover that? We drove past it. So many Tesla depots. They're everywhere. I wish you had some different car brands as well. They all seem the same, but just Tesla. There's uh, signs on the interstate. It's nice, nice detail. So it's heading the uh, truck care center. That's what it's called. Open 24 hours. Not bad see what they've got in here what can you do for us but before we do let's go escape and have a look at the new upgrades available uh, what we can worth uh, oh yeah all my new tires are unlocked so that's really nice uh, some new rims we could put those on now uh, a new engine but I'm guessing that's for the uh, T680 um, new transmission yeah nothing really too amazing for us we could upgrade the engine to what did I say to a to 450 engine up to 
but I'm not sure that may cost so for a 450 that still costs 26 grand we do not have that kind of money on us right now unless one of the one of them are willing to pay us to upgrade again but I doubt that's gonna happen uh, we could upgrade the chassis it's 35 grand wait a minute let's go back to that that's gonna cost us nine grand again not really worth it I'll try to fill up more level 10 is the day cab and then level 20 for the big sleeper so that's a bit annoying 13 speed doesn't really work on my setup so I'm not going to do it level 10 for that again could have a new paint job but I think I'm gonna wait for these to unlock at a later place um, level 7 for the new bumper not too much in the way of upgrading at the moment I could go for the more mirrors but means worse frame rate really which I don't want uh, plain sax level 8 for that but yeah the main thing I really want to do is upgrade these rims they're still looking a bit rubbish at the moment we could go for those or maybe these I don't know really don't know which ones I prefer uh, my drivers have got these ones the chrome standard or we could go for the seagull standard so I think I'm gonna go for these and now we gotta pick the tires the exciting tire picking time so what size was the stock not too sure not a big fan of this good year like the writing on the side it didn't suit me the Pirellis are a bit weird they're a bit rubbish if you ask me um, good year again it's a big tire the bridge zones three eight five six fives could go for those but I don't know they look a bit big to be honest continentals I don't think you're gonna Dunlop really when I'm in them good year those ones aren't too bad actually the 31580 marathon okay let's have a look for them let's put the fact yeah these ones work good year marathon I hate this marathon 31580s L okay Drive, yeah, they're the right ones. We are about there on the list. Oh, H. Yep, they're the right ones. Nothing else we can really upgrade. That's going to cost us five grand. Not too bad, but I'd rather upgrade the truck a little bit. Let's keep it looking interesting. So next thing we need to do I don't really want to rest there too much I want to find a proper rest area if there is one so we got can't rest there there is a rest area here so why not let's go over there it's only two miles down the road then we're in the episode there I think in the next episode we need to fill up as well new rims It's a bit more presentable now. And I'd like many tyres, I have to say. Look at them. They look really nice. Really do like them. Is that bus? Whatever that I was trying to say. Those workers not working at all. Never see any of them, any of them working. I've noticed. Apart from that one, that's always trying to pull stuff off. He is the only one. Let's try and make these lights. 
We can turn right and red anyway, but save stopping, doesn't it? If we make it 55 down here, you would have thought it'd say uh, 30 because it's in town, but I'm not going to argue. Made it. Only just to think, but here we are at the hotel. So I know that you can actually park at the front. Which I think I'm going to do. Pretend like it's our proper. Should, should we park around the back? It's a bit more. Uh, it's less road noise around the back, isn't there? If we think about it. I'll do. Lights off. Not that they're on anyway, but that's not the best parking. But if you enjoyed this video, um, again, just press the like. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you in the next one. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you're after the uh, next videos, as I am trying to upload a bit more now. But as I said, thank you for watching, and goodbye.